Good morning, everybody. This is day five of my studio um, reorganization, purge, tidy, uh, you name it. Um, yesterday, I got a lot done. Um, I think I am finally seeing, I, I finally hit the top of this mountain and I feel myself going down the other side. <laughs> it's all downhill from here and uh, I think I'm over the worst and definitely the paper, paper was the worst for me for some reason, um, which is kind of weird because I sorted out two bins full of embellishments and there was probably twice as many embellishments as there were pieces of uh, paper. Um, but anyways, I'll just share with you really super quick what I got done. I'm just going to start over here and work my myself over. Um, I put, I cleaned off the top of this. This had baby wipes and a uh, tissue box and it had all of these bottles. They were just kind of sitting perched there on top. So I put them what I could in the basket just because I like having things in baskets because, you know, it just looks cute if they're out. Um, I went through a desktop calendar that um, has Bible verses on it and just a lot of really beautiful pictures. I went through that really quick. I sorted out the pictures that I knew I would most definitely want to use in my collage journal. Then the rest either went in outdoors or flowers because that's all they were all nature pictures. Um, I also sorted out a calendar, another desk calendar, let's see, that was from the uh, museum. I think it's from the, oh gosh, I can't remember which museum, oh, the Metropolitan Museum of Art. That's the desk calendar for them. I sorted out the images for that, um, and I just kept tried to keep it really simple, because some of these, it's like, well, you know, I just, I just don't know if I'll use them or... What, but for now, they're sorted. Um, I finished all of the embellishments. Let me do a different chore. All of my embellishments now from the scrapbook kits are all organized by color in um, these drawers. I had a whole bucket, a heaping bucket full. Um, the smaller pieces are over here, the larger pieces are over here. There's all sorts of things in here. There's chipboards, there's die, um, just, those are vellum pieces, there's sticker sheets, um, you know, just anything large goes on one side, small pieces go in the other, and I pretty much divided these up, the 3D, 3D pieces, and then just flat. Um, and some of them are very full. I wish that I could find, and I'll just keep a lookout, I need something bigger than these because these are stuffed. But I really don't want to have it too much bigger because then it's going to take up space in my drawer. So I should probably just leave it as it is and use what's in here, which is the whole point, right? Um, I did add an extension cord here for my glue gun because I did have my glue gun pl plugged in back here and the cord was always getting tangled up and things. So. Now it's plugged in over here, and hopefully that'll help keep it from getting tangled up and other things. It just drove drove me crazy, and I need to have my glue gun on this side of my table because I'm left-handed, and it's I just always reach for it on this side. So I got that done. I cleaned out the, um, there was this bucket over here of magazines, that blue blue bucket of magazines. That used to be over here um, on the left side. I had this other drawer unit, so I, thank goodness, it fit in here. So I moved it in here. There's space in there, so I put some canvases, and I have some more canvases downstairs I need to bring up. On top, I've got, the basket has just towels in it. Um, my phone book that I use whenever I'm binding books, I use it to um, put the signatures on to protect my table when I'm poking the needle through. Um, I had tissues under there. I've got baby wipes and my deli wipes. My deli wipes. My deli paper. 
then inside right now I have pieces of deli paper that I will probably use on projects they have paint and whatnot uh, I've got my big duct tape because honestly I just really don't know where else to put them so I put them right there then I found downstairs when I went to get my die cut machine I found my um, Melody Ross chipboard um, sets so these are all of the little dies these are both alphabets um, so I brought those up because I haven't ever used any of that this one's empty and then down here are all of my dies for my big shot so that was my big goal that I was really trying for yesterday and I did it I got my big shot up here so those are um, all the dies the other thing that I went ahead and did is I put my washi tape in these drawers by color so I all the washi tape is divided up now in drawers it was in a basket and I just got tired of having the basket sitting around so that cleaned up that I did do have other packing tapes I got packing tape in here too so that emptied up a basket um, let's see on top of this unit which was already here I cleaned out both of those bins and just got rid of the extra stuff the one on the left just has containers for paint you know recycled containers just to mix paints in and things and then the one on the right has all my smaller stencils in it and then I just have my 12 by 12 paper cutter sitting there so it's easy for me to get to um, I did not do anything. Oh, over here, I went through another small plastic tub that I had that was full of the smaller packs of paper. And I probably had about 10 of those. So I went through all of those and divided those up by color and put those in here. So all of these drawers here are all scrap of paper um, I was gonna say not full sheets with I which I guess technically these are full sheets from these booklets but you know what I mean they're not 12 by 12 um, and got this cleaned up nice over here these are just both of my glue books and then these folders have images in it so that whenever um, school starts and I'm in the car a lot and I'm waiting in parking lots a lot for children to get out of school these will be the things that I grab I'll grab these and I'll grab my little travel case um, over here I got the paper from outside here I went ahead and adjusted the shelf so that the that second shelf is up higher and I was able to fit the big plastic bins of paper in there and then I just moved books around I moved all the journals that were sitting on top they are now on the middle shelf and then I have the books that are still on the first shelf and then oh, there's my big shot yay um, gosh I wish there was an easier place to put it <laughs> uh, they're just kind of a if it was just a little bit smaller it would fit in my drawer with the the drawer unit that has all the die cuts but for now, it's going to go right here. I actually have a, gosh, you know, I don't even know what it is. Is it a Cricut? No. I, I have one of the older electronic die cut machines. Um, golly, I probably got it five, six years ago, and I have never used it. I'm embarrassed to say that I've never used it. I have a few cartridges for it. That is coming up. I'm going to probably, well, for now, I'm going to put it right here. Um, and then the cartridges will go in the drawer where the die cuts are also stored. So, um, and then this, I cleaned this up a little bit, moved it up here. These are all of my printouts from the right, uh, the right Brain Planner and the Art Journaler and um, my collage sheets from Tangie Baxter's um, Art Journal Emporium. So I have those divided up in folders and um, 
you know, just so I've got them and I know where they're at so that I can use them because they're all amazing. I think I've got some Brave Girls stuff, um, classroom things in here, and they're, so kind of just printables from classes and whatnot that I've taken online. Um, so this is looking a whole lot better. I think I'm going to take out all the books from here to here because those are not art related books and I can put those in my book basket. That will open up space for probably four plastic little tubs that I have and I think I'm going to rotate um, my rubber stamps in this spot. I have a ton of rubber stamps down in the basement. They are all in the plastic shoe um, size tubs and they're organized by uh, category. So I have floral, um, you know, Valentine's Day, love, winter, uh, insects, boy, girl, um, categories like that. So I think I'm going to, you know, especially seasonal specific ones, so I'd probably move up my autumn and Halloween bin and then maybe, a, you know, a bin with words in it and one with just collage type texture background stamps, things like that. That will at least get some of those up here so that I can start using them because right now they're down there in the basement and I don't like going out in the basement and you know they're not being used and they need to be used. So that is probably, well that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to move those books and decide which stamps to bring up and I'm going to bring up my Cricut, <laughs> I think that's what it's called. And those cartridges, if I can find the cartridges, I know where the Cricut's at, but I'm not sure I know where the cartridge is at. All downstairs in the big, huge mess downstairs. Um, I think that is all that I did yesterday, which was a whole lot, and it felt really good. And, you know, I, I think if I finish what I need to do today, that I will be done. Um, oh, the last thing that I did last night was while watching Paula, the journal artista, on Ustream, um, I sat and cut all of the 12 by 12 sheets that are Project Life sheets. So all of these, you know, neat little cards, I cut all of them. They were in a 12 by 12 sheet, and I just sat with my um, paper cutter and cut all those out. So today probably the first thing that I'm going to do just so I can get my desk cleaned off. I'm going to organize these by colors and put them in my color drawers right there. And then I've got these, all that's left are these chipboard and sticker sheets. So I need, a uh, part of me last night was like, oh, I'll just stick these over on the shelf. At least they're out and I'll get to them later. I'm really scared to do that because that's what how a lot of this started. Oh, I'll just do that later. <laughs> I'll do it later. I'll sort it out later. I don't want to mess with it right now. Well, that's how I ended up with scrapbook kits for two years that I've had since 2010 that are never have never been opened. So I'm really going to try to get these divided up. I've been punching all of everything out of the packages. Um, I need to. These are vellum sheets. I looked at this the other day. Well, um, these are from 2004. So these, I have three of these that have stains on them. I need to cut those up. Um, you know, more chipboard. And then I've got some of the big sticker sheets um, that I need to cut up or <laughs> stick over to the side. I really don't want to stick them over to the side. I need to cut these up, but I'm just so tired of cutting things up and sorting. Um, so, but I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I need to keep reminding myself that I'm almost done. Um, so I think that's it. I was able to move in my, diff uh, my diffuser. Is that what it's called? You guys, I just got up and I haven't had any coffee and my brain as it's just, <laughs> it's shut down. I, I didn't get any sleep last night. Um, so I, I'm kind of a mess this morning. Um, I uh, We had open house last night and it really hit me last night after I went to bed that my son's starting preschool. <laughs> and it wouldn't be that big of a deal except he has severe food allergies 
and I am absolutely terrified about him starting school. I'm terrified. Um, we, I did talk to his teacher a little bit yesterday at open house, and it helps that I know her, and, but, you know, he's four and a half, and we've known about these allergies since he was a little bit over one, and, you know, it's been my duty to protect him, and I'm having to send him off into somebody else's hands. So, I started freaking out last night, um, had to get up, came downstairs, and sat and just wrote down everything that was going on in my head, just because I, there's things that I need to do. Um, you know, I have some questions for our, my allergy doctor and for the pediatrician, and uh, even just questions for the teacher, um, just notes about snacks that I can, special snacks to put together for him to have at school, but... Um, Anyways, I, I, yeah, I didn't sleep, so I'm pretty frazzled this morning. So I'm, today, I'm honestly going to try to just take it easy, and anything that I do, I want it to be something that I enjoy, and something that's pretty low-key and low-stress, because <laughs> I'm not sh well, I know my stress level can get higher than this, but I'm, I'm on the edge right now, um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, I'm really excited. I walk in here and it feels so much better. Whoops, I'm walking backwards and I just hit the dollhouse. Um, to me, it doesn't seem like you can tell a lot. I'm trying to get where you can see this and it's hard. To me, it doesn't seem like you can tell that I've done a lot if you look in here. Um, it doesn't seem like it looks that much different. But I guess it's because I know how much has been put away and how well things are organized behind those cupboards. Um, and that now I know where every single thing is at and that it, everything has a place. To me, it just feels, it feels better in here. Um, I feel more, at, way more at ease. If I feel like I have it under control, so now I can keep it like this. And that... That feels really, really, really good. Um, part of me would like to tidy up my little board there. I have to keep it there just because it's protecting the wall for when I splatter paint on my projects. Of course, the paint goes all over, so that's, you know, that's mainly there to protect the wall because I am in our formal dining room, so um, I can't get too crazy in here. But uh, anyways, that... That's kind of where I'm at today. Um, I'm going to take those books out and put those in a book basket. I am going to organize this stuff by color. Um, and then I just need to tidy up this area over here. The things on the tub is all the ephemera that I'm going to try to get rid of. The things on the steppy stool, I mean. Um, the magazines in the blue where the Vogue's at, those, I probably, you know, I might do that today. I might just sit down and pull images from those really super fast, and then all of the pulled images are going into the teal bin, and bit by bit, I'm just going to start um, going through those and sorting those out. And then all of that that is left that I decide to keep will go into my drawers, my collage drawers. Um, so, I think that's it. Um, actually what I really should do is probably get out my journal and I need to do something because I know that will also help with my, um, my anxiety that I have right now. Um, I need to get some of that out and the best way for me to do it is on, in my, in my journal. Um. So, you know, maybe that's what I'll do tonight. But, anyways, thanks so much, everybody. I'm glad you all have gone on this journey with me. We've had ups and downs and ins and outs, and um, I hope you've gotten some ideas. Um, I hope this has inspired you. Um, just, uh, you know, make your space the space that you love, and if it makes you happy, keep it, and if it doesn't make you happy, then it's time to pass it on because, you know, I, I know all of us are guilty of 
uh, buying and treasuring and hoarding things and thinking that we're going to use it one day and I have so many bins of those things and I have not done anything with any of them and they're taking up space for things that I love that I don't have any room for um, so um, I uh, hope you have a wonderful day it is Friday and uh, maybe tomorrow will be it maybe tomorrow will be the final reveal Actually, I'll wait till Monday because my weekends are usually pretty crazy and um, it's just too hard for me to film on the weekends. So, this will be the last update until till Monday, um, which Monday is the first day of school. So, um, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Everybody have a fantastic day. Happy Friday. Um, take care and I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.